Are you building protection level applications with OpenAI API? Do you calculate your cost before sending the prompt? This tool might help you something with that. If you are building protection level applications with OpenAI API, it is very important for you to understand how tokenization works. Understanding tokenization and understanding how you can mitigate the cost of tokenization can really help you save a lot of dollars if your application scales up. So in this video, we're going to look at a small, like uh, somebody's tiny project. It's called Tick Tokenizer. And we're going to see how this entire tokenization works. And we're also going to compare it with OpenAI documentation to understand first whether it is correct. And also certain nuances like why a uh, different language would cost more than English when you use OpenAI API. To first start with, this is somebody's project. Uh, the project is called Tick Tokenizer. The person is DQBD. So David Duong has a open source this project and the name tick tokenizer of course comes from the tokenization library that OpenAI uses called tick token so if you have been familiar with hugging face you know the tokenizer is a way that uh, the text uh, the input prompt that you give is going to be split into tokens typically people consider token as a word but that is not true and that might be the closest thing in for english language but it could be totally different for different languages so that's what the tokenizer is doing here. So it tries to take the input text that you have given and then it tries to split into separate parts or chunks or what we call as tokens. And these tokens are actually sent it to OpenAI API and that is how the OpenAI API processes your input. Now, if you see this tokenization, um, like I said, that happens from a library called Tick Token. What Tick Tokenizer does is it's a web application where you can go ahead and then add your text like string and then get to know two things. One, you can get to know how much token it costs. Second, you can get to know the price per prompt. So based on the model that you have selected. So if you go to this interface, what you can see here is one, you can see what is a system message? What is a user message? What is the assistant message? What is the user message? And you can keep on adding as, as much as you want. And for that particular messages that you have sent, you would get to know the token count and you would get to know the price per prompt. First, let's make sure that the tool actually works. To make sure that the tool actually works, what I've done is I have uh, taken the documentation from OpenAI API. So this is the chat completion documentation. And you can see that there are four messages. One is the system message, the user message, assistant, and then user. And the messages are as follows. You are a helpful assistant. Who won the World Series in 2020? An assistant has responded, the Los Angeles Dodgers won the World Series in 2020. And where was it played? For this question to open a API, the response it had given is the 2020 World Series was played in Texas at Global Life Field in Arlington. So for this, if you see this, the completion token, which is the response, the completion token is 17 and the prompt token, the input prompt token that has been given is 57 and totally it is 74 tokens. 17 plus 57 is 74 tokens. So let's try to learn how does this 57 token come up to. First of all, I'm going to replicate this inside tick tokenizer. So I've copied every single thing here and added it to system. You're a helpful assistant user and assistant and then user. After I add it, first step is to validate. So we can validate that the OpenAI documentation also says 57 tokens and the tool that we are using tick tokenizer also says 57. Now, if you see how it is 57 and that is where this helpful part comes in. So you can see the relevant tokens. These are like the, the, the paddings at the start and at the end. And then you've got the system message and all these things you can see the tokens. In fact, like you can see the encoded values as well, but all these things you can see how the tokenization has been calculated for this. And this is quite helpful for you to see how you can save cost. For example, now, you know, for this, you have spent 57 tokens. A lot of people use techniques like paraphrasing or have a multi-stage approach. For example, you take the input from the user, you paraphrase it or you transcribe it into a slightly easier format that would consume lesser token and then send it to OpenAI API. I think this is this is one of the successful proven formula and also doing initial data validation is helpful. The reason why I said initial data validation is helpful is imagine you have got a public production application and you are using OpenAI API and you are letting your users do anything with it. You just basically let them hit the API. Now, instead of English, if they happen to even mention a very small foreign language, like in this case, I'm going to do Tamil. For example, the question here is where was it played? 
and when we ask in english where was it played we have got totally 57 tokens all together let me go ahead and put this and then get the tamil of it okay so it says enge vilayada pottathu i copy this i come back to the tick tokenizer and i'm going to paste this and from what was 57 tokens just because we added a language that does not work well with the existing tokenization methods you could see that the token count from 57 going up till 84 that means we have literally added almost like 27 tokens extra just because it's a different language even if you see like when you literally see the number of characters could look less but that is not what it is when you try to do tokenization you can see that this is a single word but it has been tokenized into multiple smaller parts and that is what leading to this higher token count so what is the message here the message here is that if you are building a production level application the first thing is you need to understand tokenization you need to understand how the tokenization works what kind of guardrails that you can set up in such a way that when your customers when your users are using your application they don't um, they don't abuse the system or you know you are not being penalized for somebody making a mistake that's that's the first thing the second thing is how you can reduce cost open api charges you based on the tokens every token matters i mean literally every token matters so if there is an extra punctuation for example let me go ahead and say where was it played something like that if there is an extra punctuation does it matter it doesn't if there is a space does it matter it matters so these are certain nuances that you need to play with for example if somebody has said where was uh, something 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 it played so can you use let's say dictionary and or something and find out that if there is something unwanted can you fix it or for example it's possible that the user would say that where was the los angeles match played so if you see this this question and then the previous question are almost same it's going to give you the same result but the way it has been expressed in english is completely different like instead of using a pronoun somebody decided to use the actual noun in itself so these are certain processing that you can do to actually bring down your cost overall this is a very helpful tool tick tokenizer where you can go ahead and then start adding stuff so you can add a message user system assistant whatever you want you can do it and also you get to select the different models for example if you want to compare pricing between gpt 3.5 turbo and gpt 4 you get to compare the models and then see which model what is the cost that you would approximately get and uh, i think this is quite helpful if you happen to build production level application using openai a lot of people are just building openai wrappers without understanding these nuances but i think understanding these nuances will help you save cost build better application with better safety and that's exactly what tick tokenizer is enabling you to do it and i'll link this project and also the github repository in the youtube description if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise happy prompting